What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Pyrostasis here, and we are located, well, I guess the zone is called Webwood. Let me see what the town's called. The town is Canarock. Now, if you save the, uh, if you, if you save the mayor of this town from the spiders, he will give you this house. Now, I don't know if you betray the mayor, if you'll get the house from the new guy. Um, I haven't done that side of the quest yet. I will do that on my other tune and we'll find out. Once you get in here, you get access. This is your house. It's kind of small, not real big. You have a bed just like you would in Skyrim and you can rest. You have a stash where you can store all your stuff, also just like Skyrim. But unlike Skyrim, you do have access to a customized appearance mirror. And with this, you can change like, well, for me, I guess, the, uh, the hairstyle. You know, you can play around with that. You can change around your eyebrows. You can uh, mess with jewelry. It basically allows you to completely recustomize your character if that's what you want to do. So you can basically come in here and fix anything you may not have liked, etc., etc. And it's it's a real nice fix. Now, one thing I did want to show you guys real quick is also, just like in Skyrim, you can upgrade your house. Now, I don't know if every house will have that upgrade option. Um, but at least the Canarock house in um, over here in Webwood, you can get it upgraded what with the blacksmith. Now the blacksmith, I of course ran to the wrong door. Blacksmith is located right here. And since this is the first house, very similar to the one in White Run on Skyrim, uh, the upgrades aren't very expensive. I would assume as time goes on and you get bigger and better houses, that the cost will get more and more expensive as time goes on. So anyways, I had a hard enough time just blah blah blah. So if you don't talk to him, say it. you want to upgrade well, your house, he can say he anything. can add on a dining room for 378 gold. We'll be ready in no time. And then you say, yeah, you go ahead and upgrade it. Well, it sure would be useful to have an alchemy workbench. I can add a room. I don't necessarily do gold. alchemy, but I'll go ahead and get him to upgrade it. The alchemy work then should come in. Damn. Hand. The main floor has been expanded as much as possible, but I can squeeze in an attic for Hell some. Hell yeah, give me a fucking attic. You'll be amazed when you see that attic. What else? Well, I'll have to watch out for the Ooh. riverbed, but I can add on a basement for some gold. Yeah. I'll go ahead and set up the basement with some plants and reagent. If you're interested in more storage space, I can expand your basement. Damn. With some gold. All right, well, I'm dumping a lot of money into this house. Well, Let's let go see are. what our little house is turned into first. Keep safe. I've got a lot of cash, but uh, I don't know if I need that house to be that big. <laughs> I was kind of expecting him to stop upgrading. He's like, sure, dude, we can throw in a boathouse and, you know, a pool and shit. You want 400 acres of farmland? Let's go ahead and add that as well. It's like, all right, uh, I think I'm going to walk away from you now before you take all my money. So the outside looks the same. Let's go in and see what the inside looks like. And I do find it interesting that your house locks when you leave. I think that's uh, I think that's kind of cool. So as you can see, my little house has kind of gotten pimped out since the last time we were here. We have, I think this is a black, nope, that's an alchemical lab, so I can make my alchemy stuff there. Uh, I've got a weapon rack here that I apparently can I don't think I can store things here, but I can take stuff out of it. Got some bookshelves. Let's go upstairs and see what we got up here. So previously our bedroom was on the bottom floor. Now it's up top. Now I do also have some boxes. I don't know if these... Yep, they'll have gold in them as well. Let's go take a look at our little basement. Now I'm sure if I continue to upgrade this, I'll get other things added on. Now it is kind of cool that he put some uh, plants and such down here. I'm assuming that these things will grow back over time and that I can continuously come down here for free reagents. So that's kind of a cool little deal. Sadly, I am not an alchemist. I'm a sage crafter, but uh, I can at least respect uh, the, the, the time that was put into this. So it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, I, I like the fact that you can actually increase the size of your house. That's one thing Skyrim didn't really allow you to do. It, you know, took it from a nasty little ramshackle into a fully upgraded setup, but, uh, 
you know, it didn't actually grow in size. So with this one, you know, you can take your little crappy one-room hovel and turn it into something that's, you know, kind of respectable and nice. I'm going to head back over to the blacksmith and see exactly how big, because I did do a save before this, so let's go see exactly how big he's going to let us make this house. I'm sure there's got to be a limit to uh, <laughs> you know, have, have our own little town inside there turn into a 400-story skyscraper. So he was, the last time we talked to him, he was letting us further expand the basement. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him and see if we can get him to expand it a little no, bit all more. All I know Whoops! Is I, I can't say I know. It's almost as if the House upgrade. Enough. If you're interested in more storage space, sure. I can expand your basement for some got about 20,000 gold. Be careful when you go in Damn. there. I can do one last expansion of the basement to give you more space for the plants down there. This will be the last awesome. upgrade I can give you. I hope you like everything. Hell yeah. Alright, so he upgraded our basement two more times and gave us quote unquote more plants. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a badass alchemist house of doom, which makes me think that there's probably gonna be other houses throughout the game that'll be specialized in other areas. So we'll probably have a blacksmithing house, which is kind of interesting because as far as I know, this town only has uh well I guess it does have an alchemist table over there. I just find it interesting that the blacksmith is setting you up with this badass alchemist house when there's an alchemist here. I, I guess if I go talk to her, will she turn it into a badass blacksmithing house? Anyways, let's head downstairs and look at our expanded... Wow, they did expand it. Holy crap. Alright, so this is pretty much the room we had before. Now I have a sagecraft altar. That is awesome. Sagecraft is actually the... Um, the trading skill that I actually have. Wow. Alright. So I made a little money off of this. Probably not a terrible amount, but still some. So I can make my Sagecraft stuff in here, and what do we have in this little room over here? More herbs. And some boxes. Cool beans. Anyways, so that's where you get your first house in uh, Kingdoms of Amalar. That is how you go about upgrading it. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please click that like button. As always, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.